These deals here, dungeon ass, obviously. We got more than a limit, <clears throat> I think, without starting to measure them. So I usually grab the three biggest, not even bother measuring because right. I know they're good. But like right. here, for instance, that's a male. Hold that crab for a minute. Hold just like that. Mm. Now, so there's a female. Yeah. Her eggs live under that little deal. Huh. So can't touch her anyways. Go back in the back in the drink. So let's just verify. He's got to be six and a half, but you can't count the points. So that crab right there, seven and a half. He's going in the pot. There's a legal male. That's a sublegal male right there. This one probably sublegal too. He's I sub guess. That's a big crab. Two, three, four, five, six. Whether I'm going to cook crabs fresh or freeze them for later consumption, I like to do the same thing. I like to, to knuckle them. Lay the crab down. I like to wear gloves while doing this. Get the crab like that. And what you want to do is you want to bust this part of the shell right here. You just want to crack that. So I'm going to do this one on the edge of the table. Like so. And then grab it one side to get the knuckle. Push in. Out, in, out. Get the gills off. That's it. If you're gonna eat it fresh, cook it right now. If you're gonna save it for later, get some water. Get it about as salty as the ocean. Salty like soup broth. Drop this thing in, boil it in the salted water for 10 minutes, then freeze it in a resealable plastic bag, Ziploc type bag. You can keep it for a couple months in your freezer like that when you go to eat it put it back into boiling water, comes out, it tastes as good as it does fresh.